When his mother couldn't get good quality fruit and vegetables, Tanzanian Alea Timoteo looked at what he could do to help. We realized uh, through my mother's chain of restaurants in Kilimanjaro, the deficiency in fruits and vegetables supply in, in the town. And that's when I came with the idea that I should launch a company that can itself generate profitability at the same time increase the income to the farmers. His idea? Loan some of his family's unused land to small farmers who would in turn sell their produce to him and he'd sell it to clients in Dar el Salaam, 80 kilometers from the farm. The idea worked and in 2013 he officially launched East Africa Fruits. We tried to build up a small marketing team that could go out to the specific customers, to the hotels and restaurants, and that's where we started to uh, distribute directly from the farmers to the hotels and other uh, final consumers and retailers. In total, we have about 120 customers on board. And he works with more than 300 farmers. Last year we sold over 700 tons of uh, fruits and uh, 300 tons of veggies. We were able to reach out to 457,000 US dollars in revenues, though we did not realize any loss for the past three years now. Due to the fact that we have high operating costs, we need to hire trucks, we need to hire people, we need to hire uh, cost storage facilities sometimes. So with all those operating costs, we really cannot get profits. One way he thinks he can change the profits picture is by figuring out ways to prolong the lifespan of his produce. We're going to increase our logistical issues. That means refrigerated trucks that will keep the produce uh, refrigerated. The long-term plan is to make sure that we increase our warehouse to become a bigger warehouse uh, with, the, with the vision of becoming the largest aggregator and producer of fruit and vegetables in Tanzania. And maybe we can go for export market at that point.